Hey there my fellow fans, today's royal news. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's plan to reconcile with the royal family will not work if the couple criticise King Charles III or the Queen Consort Camilla, a source claims. A royal insider claims the Sussexes will seek to mend their relationship next year, saying next year in 2023 was to be their reconciliation year. They have always been careful to not criticise the monarch. They have always tried to be respectful to Queen Elizabeth II. They added, but the Queen has now died and Charles and Camilla are the King and Queen. Clearly, this reconciliation attempt would never work if they have been critical of the new monarch or both. The claims come as Meghan's podcast continues to be serialised on Spotify and Harry prepares for publication of his memoir. Royal commentator Robert Jobson said the Sussex's long-term plan should be to earn the trust of King Charles. He said, They got it completely wrong by doing Oprah Winfrey when Philip was in hospital just days away from death. They got it wrong again when the ridiculous interview with American magazine The Cut came out weeks before the Queen died. Now, this plot for a year of reconciliation, their timing is appalling as always. Mr. Jobson said, it is also completely arrogant because they are assuming they can win back the trust of Harry's father and brother. But that trust has gone forever. Harry and Meghan will never be looked at the same. Harry needs to remember he is now dealing with the head of the state, not just his dad. If they disrespect the king, they are not only disrespecting the man, but also the institution. Mr. Jobson claimed, as a dad, Charles will always love his son. But as a king, he cannot trust him. Harry is reportedly trying to tone down his memoir after the death of Britain's longest reigning monarch. A source revealed he wants sections changed. It's not a total rewrite by any means. He desperately wants to make changes, but it might be too late. Meanwhile, Lord Geoffrey Archer has said he is dreading the publication of Harry's memoirs because the significant amount of money publisher Penguin Random House paid for it suggests it has to contain something bad. Lord Archer said there was so much the public does not know and the memoir could reveal stories many royals do not want to be widely known. He said, if Penguin Random House are going to produce a book and in there is nothing new, what have they paid $30 million for? I personally am dreading the book. How about you guys? Dreading or looking forward to it? Let me know in the comment section. Like and subscribe for more and goodbye for now.